गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक रिगार्डिंग एम वी एस सीरिंज मीन्स मैनुअल वैक्यूम एस्पिरेशन सीरिंज दिस आर द पार्ट्स ऑफ मैनुअल वैक्यूम एस्पिरेशन सीरिंज द फर्स्ट वन इज सिलेंडर और बैरल विच कंटेन मार्किंग फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी एम एल टू सिक्सटी एम एल देर इज वन क्लिप एन अपर एंड एंड टू होल्स फॉर कॉलर स्टॉप दिस इज अ कॉलर स्टॉप विच वी हैव टू फिक्स ऑन अपर एंड ऑफ द सिलेंडर टू स्टॉप coming out of plunger this is a plunger which having one end is a handle the other end is a rounded which is having black color ring which is called as a o ring this is a wall from inside and this is a wall button this is a cap of mv syringe these are different cannulas plastic cannulas which has different color code starting from number 5 to number 11 if we'll see the each plastic cannula there is number written in in this there is a seven number is written on this and there are dots the first dot is 6 cm away from tip and frequently there on 1 cm there is a other dot so you can measure cervical length and uterine length by this cannulas there is two apertures on the tip of the plastic cannula assembling of the cylinder or barrel there is a clip on the barrel upper side you have to fix collar into the clip like this way so there then you have to put plunger inside then you have to to do locking of the collar there are two holes you have to fix collar in that hole so plunger will not come out of the syringe okay then we will see the regarding the wall this is a plastic covering of wall and this is a inner liner of the wall put liner inside the wall and close it and fix it so this is a cap so we are putting cap on it this while removing the cap you have to press this and you have to pull so this way and there is a clap remove the clap and take out cleaner for the washing mva syringe you have to join plunger to the wall then you have to lock the wall by pressing wall buttons and you have to pull the plunger you will get some resistance and you have to lock it then put desired suction cannula on the tip of mva syringe now we considering this module where cervical dilatation is already done put cannula inside the uterus till it reaches the cavity and after going to cavity release the vacuum by the pressing the wall button and then do clockwise and anti clockwise rotation till product of conception comes into the syringe once you realize the vacuum is empty or syringe is fulfilled remove it take care while holding the syringe don't hold to the plunger plunger hold near the cylinder or near the wall now once remove it empty the product of concession in dustbin put plunger once again inside to create vacuum put cannula now i'm going to show how it actually work so i'm going to release vacuum you will see what are inside the syringe okay thank you